All right, everybody. Well, this is Greg the Ghoul from Phantasm Comics. About to show off comics that are not for sale. I just wanted to uh, show some stuff that I picked up at the Clifton Comic Con. I figured everyone in this group would appreciate this stuff. So, a lot of great high-grade, like, 90s indie stuff in this box. Just wanted to share some really cool, fun stuff. This is um, a great anthology book that has Mr. X... A lot of horror and like horror sci-fi stuff. I have no idea what this is, but I couldn't pass it up. And I believe Steve Bissett was involved. Nice high-grade copy of this with the foil on it. Um, and same with this one. I mean, how tough is it to get this in high-grade all these years later? Love that. And you can see some sort of like in back characters there in the darkness. Again, just high grade copy of this it was black. I'm not keeping that one actually, <laughs> but, so maybe you'll see that one for sale. But I've always been looking for this Night of the Living Dead, the Prelude. And I love this cover. Anything Fantico from the '90s, I'll always pick that up. And I always pick up Dead World. I don't know about Walking Dead fans, but I was always a Dead World fan. Love their covers storyline was hit or miss sometimes for me but the artwork on the interiors and exteriors is just fantastic i love the dead world that's the concept too you know some smarter than the average zombies Always pick up Death Rattle if you see them out in the wild. These are usually, like the top of this one says, horror and science fiction, and usually they are mixed together. I love seeing these. And there's like, that guy's brains on the ground in the lower left-hand corner there. It's, it gets pretty brutal. These are classic underground artists doing some wild stuff. So, Kitchen Sink Comics. I'm always looking for Kitchen Sink Comics. More the, you know, underground horror stuff that they put out. You can find their table at New York Comic Con. Mr. Kitchen will be there. So, there was a great run of Death Rattle at the show that I could not pass up. Curse of the Weird from Marvel Comics. The oddest comics ever. Love that cover, and he had two and three, just, you know, Basil Wolverton style. Couldn't pass it up. I don't know what this is, but like I said, I'm a fan of 90s indie horror stuff, so it, get, it got me. Anything... North Star Press, too. I will always pick that up. So, this looked very cool. Go Go Comics, Creepsville. I mean, there's some horror references on the cover. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm all in. And I loved this Halloween style sort of jack o' lanterns. Like I said, anything North Star Press gets me. Um, I have this before, but this was an upgrade, even though there is a ding here. My copy was beat. I have no idea, but this cover was just too much to not bring home with me. Little humor in our horror. Dinosaur stuff stops me in my tracks, so I do normally pick that up. And, you know, was it Steve Bissett? Can never pass up Steve Bissett. 2000 Maniacs, the adaptation, that's right. So there was only one of those, so you know I have to complete the run. Tombstone Blues, issue one. What we got here? Spring Heel Jack popping up. Like indie horror, black and white 90s indie horror, I will normally pick up. I do have a copy of this, but this one is a gradable upgrade which I might send out to CGC just to see what it gets this Buck Rogers thing was just too much that I think on the, the original Buck Rogers it's like what sort of iteration of Buck Rogers is that 
There it is, Beset. You can tell I'm a fan. I was like, yes, Bog Swamp Demon. I'm all in. These were there at a very reasonable price, so I had to snatch them up. Like the movie or not, I have never seen these in such great condition. Angry Sands, John Bolton. Eh, Angry Sands. Angry Shadows, John Bolton cover. Love it. High grade. Uh, high grade Lost in Space, the foil one. That one might find its way to the uh, to the sale floor. These I've never heard of these Infernos, but yep, picked it up. Look at that the guy down there. And this one I always look for. I have a, a beat up copy. I love werewolf comics, and I've been looking for that one in a higher grade copy for a while. Fright from Eternity, always picking up these and again the best part of this collection was this guy's stuff is minty fresh um it's like he just put them out from you know the distributor but he apparently had a shop in the 90s not a lot of it sold then it went into storage and he brings it out for the shows i always grab fright night comics when i see them as well i have no idea what this is but i was like yep from the darkness cfd Cry for Dawn Comics, I guess. Freaks, number three. You gotta find those first two. I'm on the fence about this one, keeping or selling, but we'll see. I love the covers. This is an upgrade for me as well. I have a junkier copy. Love this cover. Bats, Cats, and Cadillacs. All right, I'm down. Oh, no. Never heard of it. Never seen it. But one and two was there, so I could not pass that up. Splatter. Oh, my goodness. Again, North Star Press. You've got me. This seemed interesting. Profits the Future is now. Now books. A little preview of them. There's some horror stuff. This was just possibly the coolest Magnus Robot Fighter cover I've seen. So I had to pick that up. Not a big Magnus fan. I don't know. It's like not uncommon. But love this Cybernetic Dawn story. And uh, cover as well. No idea. But it's like, all right. Batman in Noir Alley. Now I've heard of... Um, the, there was another Noir Batman story that I've heard of. Not that one. This is a cool art book. I just snagged it. This was a dollar. Always grabbing Joe R. Lansdale um, and Timothy Truman books from Avatar. They're actually tougher for me to find. I don't, in, in higher condition too, I can find some beat up ones. And this one's not the highest grade, but I will always pick those up. Any of his drive in books too. This book is just bat shit insane, okay? I mean, it doesn't get much. There's no other way to say it. Uh, P. Craig Russell, always looking into his stuff. Just beautiful comic art. And, um,. They had a bunch of these night music ones. So I snagged those. Last Kiss, no idea, but I love that cover. This was just featured on the, the Kayfabe. Cartoonist Kayfabe, I saw it. They just profiled this issue of the people being melted by the bomb. Cormac Publishing, the others, I have no idea, but I picked it up. This fire team, I like some of these... Uh, indie hot like hmm, sort of on the edge of horror maybe extreme action maybe uh war books this one's cool dark fantasy i'm always looking into black and white indie fantasy books as well this one was actually great i love the artwork in it and now i have to track down uh three and four because the art in this one was great Let's see here, Black Zeppelin, one through five was actually there, I picked them up, um, but the other ones just didn't fit into a bag and board, no idea, Death World, and we'll finish it off with some, I think these are repeats, but yeah, this is the stuff that I dig, as a comic shop owner, people always ask me, what do you buy, oh, you're into Batman, you're into Spider-Man, <laughs> it's kind of tough to define, but this is what I dig.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed Halloween Kills. I'm about to sit down and watch it. Have a good one.